Hey, it's the Clockwork Mage and this broadcast spell is live. So today I'm going to be doing an intro into Command Blocks video, as you can see by the title. So if you already know how to use and get Command Blocks, please just skip the video, go on to my next one. I'm gonna have other how-to Command Block videos later on. But for those of you wanting to learn the basics, keep watching, we're gonna jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, how do you even obtain a Command Block? Well, the only way to obtain it is if you're one, in creative, two, have the permissions to use cheats and commands, and three, you type in the command give to yourself, click tab, and then type in command block, tab, enter. Now you have obtained a command block. So now that we have a command block, what is a command block even used for? Well, to answer that question, a command block is used so that you can type a command into it and just keep reusing it as many times as you want to. So for example, I can put into here the command say and then put hello world. Now that it's in there, we need to activate it. So to activate it, you need any bit of redstone. So we'll just use a lever for now. Place it onto the block itself and activate the block. Now, anytime I activate this lever, it will say hello world. See, and I can do it as many times as I want. Well, now you're probably wondering why is a command block even useful? I can just type in any command in the terminal and it'll work the exact same way. And that I can say you're right, but what makes command blocks useful is actually how you chain them together. So the way you chain them together is you follow the arrow you link them up like that. So now when this one activates, this one will also activate. So this one still says, say hello world. And then this other one I can put, say the world says hello. Now that the command is set, once I activate this, they'll both activate, see? Hello world, the world says hello. And that's exactly what makes command blocks useful. Okay, now that we've touched on the practicalities of command blocks and how useful they can be, I'm gonna show you guys a brief introduction of the three different types of command blocks there are. So the first one that you get is an impulse block. Now the impulse block needs redstone to activate and it sends a command block signal through any command blocks in a line with it. Now, we can change the needs redstone part, but the impulse block is the block that usually starts the chain of command blocks. Next command block in the line is going to be a chain command block. The chain command block normally does not need redstone next to it, and once the command block pulse goes through it, it will activate whether there's redstone there or not. Again, you can change that right here but most of the time you just want chains to be a chain block. And last but not least is the repeater. The repeater will activate a command inside of it once every tick. There are 20 ticks in a second. So this command will activate 20 times in a second. So if I was to give you an example, if I was to do that, and then put that right here. It says it 20 times a second. I know you can't see the chat scrolling anymore, but I promise you it's going on. Okay, so now that we've gone over the three different types of command blocks, I'm gonna go over the command block HUD with you guys. So if you go in here, you can read, this is the console command, and it says, say hello world. This is the command that's going to be executed once redstone activates the command block. Now this obviously says right here, this is the previous output. This will read whether the output succeeded or failed. This right here controls what type of command block you're using. It can be impulse, chain, repeat, or back to impulse. This one makes the block either unconditional or conditional. We'll touch on that later. And then this can make the block either need redstone or is always active. So one thing with impulse command blocks, when set to always active, they'll only activate once as soon as you leave the console. So I can show you here, it immediately activated and that's all that happens. You don't get another pulse out of it any other time. It's just the one time as soon as you leave the console. 
So try to remember to put it to needs redstone. That way you can activate the command whenever you would like. But now if we try the always active on a chain command block, you'll see that actually nothing happens because when this is always active, it won't activate. A chain command block will not activate until a pulse is sent through the chain block itself. So an impulse block or a repeater block has to be on the end of this pointing towards it, pointing towards it to actually send a signal through to make it do the command. Now, instead of chain or impulse blocks on always active, if we go to a repeater block that is always active, it'll just keep going. We don't even need the redstone signal there. It will just keep going and going because this is sending a signal every tick. 20 times a second, it is doing the command, hello world. Now, the very last thing I wanna touch on is how conditionals work. So I have this little thing set up for us right here. If we look in here, execute if block tilde tilde one tilde is air. So what the tildes mean is relative to the block that is using the command. So that'll be this block right here. And the one means one higher on the Y axis. So this is X, Y, Z. The one means one higher. So that means the block above it. So execute if the block above this block is air. Now, if I set, if I have this as unconditional, even if the block above it isn't air, it will still activate. See, it says this is air. But if I set this to conditional and the block above it isn't air, then it won't activate no matter how many times I do this. But as soon as it becomes air again, it'll say this is air. And that is the basics of how conditionals work. It will only execute if the block before it succeeded in its execution. So if the block before it failed in its execution, like when we have that as anything other than air, then it won't activate. And that's the basics of command blocks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord, the link is in the description below. I talk with everyone there, I answer questions there. Um, we're just one big fun community and we try to play other games as well. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. You've, you've played Minecraft yeah. before, right? Yeah, I'm okay. an OG, and I played the Alpha. Played Alpha? Okay, so, look at this. You know how in Minecraft you can move a block from here to there, and then move it yeah. back? Well, you see, I made a redstone machine that can do this. Move it back and forth, okay? Okay, okay. So, super easy, super simple. Well, okay, okay. now I made a command block machine that moves the block back and forth. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's some hacker stuff, man. I know. <laughs> Literally. Wait, why is it shaped like that, though? Does it have to be? Yeah, it has to be. So this is um, a specific command block setup where basically if I didn't have it set like that, it would just place two dirt blocks instead of moving it left and right. So, okay. So it has to be set up so that um, these ones are conditional and it checks like, oh, is there air there? Oh, there is, so I'll put dirt there. Oh, is there dirt there? Oh, there is, then I'll put air there. And then so on and so forth for both. Okay, okay. So it's kind of like coding, and then you have the the conditional change is that middle one that points to the right. Exactly. So right here, when this is executed, it changes the facing of this block, faces it that way. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Nice. So yeah. A lot of fun. It's my now. What you have to do is machine. find a command that moves your house from one side of the world to your new house location that you want to make. Oh, that's really easy. That's actually easier than this right here. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> this is my useless machine. That's what Not I call totally it. Totally useless. It moves a brick <laughs> or a block. Yeah, it moves. <laughs>
back and forth. That's all it does. <laughs> nice. 